Katie? Yes? I think we're live! <laughs> We're just waiting for people to join us for this live makeup along bold lipstick tutorial with Katie and Katie. Hi everyone. It's, we've got one person join us. Welcome. Ah! <laughs> we've got two people join us. Come on, we're getting those come on, come, come on, come on, come. Get your lipstick come ready. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on, love the baby. It's a long way to different. <laughs> it's a very current song. It's like <laughs> very current, very current. Hello everyone, um, firstly apologies, this live uh, makeup along was meant to start at 11am, however, um, full disclosure, I have four dogs here with me today, usually, it's been interesting, um, doesn't it? usually um, Crispy and my husband that uh, also works at Beauty Boutique is there at the office with him, but they've been going crazy and I'm like, how on earth do we do a live makeup tutorial with the dogs in the background just going, Rah! Yeah, you might hear a few little squeaks. <laughs> yeah, so heads up, if the dogs start barking, I'll probably have to go and Katie, you're gonna have I'll just to- I'll just solve or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyone, I don't know if people will be awake yet in um, America, but if oh, you yes. are, um, um, no, if you, I wanted to. Well, we wanted to say um, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. And um, we now have full. We had forty-seven people. We've got forty-nine people join us. Forty-seven back to forty-seven. I think people are dropping. <laughs> <laughs> they just wait for the dogs to kick off. But believe me, I want everyone to stay tuned because we have got some incredible. Really confidence good. boosting tips for wearing a bold lipstick doesn't have to be red it can be any any color of lipstick that's in your makeup bag that isn't a nude color yes. that you don't feel confident enough to wear if you've got those colors can you go and get them now yes. out of your makeup bag because we're going to be showing you how to get the confidence to wear them and if you feel like that doesn't suit you, still bring it because yeah. I've got the best tips to help make the most of those lipsticks that you've spent all your lovely yeah. hard-earned money on and you're not wearing. Because I'm gonna give you the confidence of not only how to wear them, but show you how to wear them in such a way that you feel great wearing them. And if you're like not sure if the color suits me, I've got some little tips to yes. help them suit you too. So some really good tips coming up. Yes, so like everybody has a load of lipsticks that they don't ever wear because they're just a yeah. bit like, oh, I'm not sure about the colour. Yeah, I mean, I think that hands up if you've bought a lipstick and it stayed in the back of your drawer because you're like, do I have the confidence to wear it? Me. I'm Me too. You know, I'm I'm a makeup artist mm. and, you know, I, I get stuck in my lipstick yeah. bra. Well, you wear the makeup that you always wear. So yeah. Especially lipstick, not something people wear every day. So it no. feel a bit awkward Exactly. Wear. So, um, first off, I think, Katie, you were going to share a story about getting confidence. The first part of this tutorial, I want to talk to you about confidence. And we're going to show you examples of, of different ways to style yourself when you wear a bold, bold lip. Because it's not just about the makeup, it's about the whole style as well. Mm. So I've got some great examples to actually show you. Um, but first of all, Katie, yeah. do you want to share that lovely story? Yes. Well, really, it was because I never used to wear lipstick at all. And then I think, like you say, you get a bit stuck in your right and you're mm. looking for something a bit new. And I used to walk the dog in the park regularly and I'd see this lady and she mm. must have been in her 70s, maybe a bit older. And she was always looking so lovely. Her hair was always done and she always used to wear bright lipstick. And I got chatting to her one day and she was like, listen, I'm 70s, 80s and um, you know, if I can't wear lipstick now, when am I ever gonna get the chance to wear it? And I just thought, you look fantastic and you're just walking the dog. So I thought, well, do you know what? I'm in my mid 40s now, mid to late 40s and I, if I can't wear a lipstick and you can, then you know, yeah. I really need to push myself. And I started wearing color yeah. And as soon as I did, people started to be like, oh, I love what, that lipstick. Yeah. And it just, those little trickles give you a bit of confidence, yeah. I think, to wear. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, now I love wearing a bright lipstick. So, I'm someone that um, wears a bright 
pink lipstick every day. Yeah, you like pink so um, for, for anything, I just think it makes me feel happy. Mm. Um, I like that colour and it makes me feel happy, but sometimes I do feel a bit like stuck in a rut, like, oh, I haven't changed up my look yeah. for ages. But in the mornings when I'm getting ready for work, it's just that it's I'm, easy. On, I'm a bit on autopilot, to be honest. Painting by numbers, literally. I'm painting by numbers, <laughs> <laughs> literally. Um, so in this video, so what I want to get started with, um, Katie and I have been researching some lovely images to share with you. And in true, really professional video editing style, current. really current, <laughs> cutting edge technology style, we have printed out the photos to show you. On paper. On paper, <laughs> recycled paper. So um, no flashy graphics in this no. video, people. No. We've gone back to the 1997 yeah. Word paperclip we've on had to, We've Word. had these yeah. faxed in, we direct. <laughs> this is clip Probably art answers. at its best. Um, so. Right, the first tip I'm gonna give you, if you have that lipstick at home, the one that you, the one that you bought when you were think, thinking like, one day I'm gonna wear that color and it's just gonna make me feel great. But at the moment, I don't have the confidence to wear it, I'm yeah. not ready. Okay, my first tip, do not wait for confidence to arrive. Confidence will never arrive. Confidence happens when you take action. Mm. And push yourself. you have to push yourself out of your comfort zone. When you push yourself out of your comfort zone, that is when the confidence starts to come. So all that time you're like, oh, I'm gonna wait till um, I feel more confident about myself. I'm gonna wait till I'm this particular size or I'm gonna My wait till- longer Yeah, or, whatever. Yeah. No. Get your lipstick. Today's the day. Today <laughs> is the day, people. We are gonna go bold, and we're gonna go brave, and we're gonna go big. Yes. Yeah! Come on! Come on! <laughs> so, with that in mind, a really good tip is, if you're someone that works from home, or um, you're at home at the weekends, or, you know, the times when you're at home, I want you to get the lipstick, that you would love to wear but don't have the confidence to wear and I want you to start wearing it around the house. Forget that no one's gonna see you, forget that like you're not going anywhere and it feels a bit strange. Put the lipstick on because by you putting that lipstick on that you feel a little bit underconfident in, but I bet it looks amazing on mm. you, it's gonna help make you feel like it's the norm. It's almost like... Like an everyday wear, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to do something enough so it starts to feel like, oh, this old thing. Yeah. It's got to become your norm. So just by putting on, wearing it around the house, catching the odd glimpses of yeah. yourself, reflection in the mirror, your brain has to get used to yourself wearing it so that it becomes so normal that you almost become bored yeah. of the color. And when you get when it becomes your norm, then step out the house and totally rock it. Yeah, and don't step out the house. I think a lot of people do this: put it on, they go out, and then think, "Oh, no, it's too much," and then and they back take it off. Take it off. No, stick with it. A lot of this tutorial is about getting the confidence to wear a bold lip because how many people see a bold lip on someone else and think, "Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah. I'd love to be able to wear that." Yeah. Yeah. I do myself, and yeah. I see myself as someone quite confident in wearing but makeup. But you do instantly think, oh, they must be such a confident person to yeah. be wearing the bright lipstick. But do you know what? If ever you want to look confident, put a bright or bold lipstick on, mm. and it makes you look confident, even if you don't feel it. And I guarantee you, when you get the confidence from doing the action to wear your bold lip, you'll step outside that door, and I want you to count the compliments you'll get. And you will. You really I will. promise you, you will. I want you to actually count the compliments. And when someone gives you a compliment, don't say, oh, oh no, oh, this old thing. Yeah. We all say that, and that's kind of our, it's in our brain to be like, you know, it's humble and it's mm. a nice thing. But you know what? Own the compliment and say, thank you, that really means a lot to yeah, me. Yeah, and keep it. Because when someone's giving you a compliment, you know, it takes a lot to give a compliment. It's them stepping out of their comfort zone mm. to say, you know, are you look nice because, because yeah. you're sharing your taste with someone. So, you know, be, just say, thank you, that really means a lot to me. And 
Blimey, no, yeah. that compliment. Yeah. You're going to get them, I promise you're going to get them. Which in turn just boosts your confidence, doesn't it, yeah. throughout the day. Now, the great thing about wearing a bold lip is that it instantly elevates your entire style. So I've got some pictures to show you. Now, this first picture I wanted to share with you because this lady here, can you see she's got a bold lip on, but she's wearing jeans, a t-shirt, She's got quite fancy shoes on, and I would say the shoes you could put on ankle boots, you could put on sandals, you know, you could put quite a casual shoe still on, you could even put like high top converse on. But can you see how this bold lip has completely elevated her entire style? Now I've got another image to show you. This, this one is how, um, a bold lip. Now, this is a red lip. It could be any kind of bold or bright lip. Look, this is Rihanna. Now, she's wearing it with denim. So often when we think of wearing bold lips, we think of, oh, it's for a special occasion. Yeah. It's for a night out, it's for a party. Save it for something special. Save it for something special. But let, let's be honest, you know, we're, we're, you know, I'm not going out every, every, weekend every month <laughs> I'm not going out every year <laughs> you know it's like you know when you get into your sort of foot your mid 40s yeah you you might go out you know the odd time but it's not like we're out every yeah. night every weekend night so don't save these things for special occasions find the ways that you can elevate a casual look and you can see here that actually it looks great wearing a red lip with denim you know, it, re really casual, it really it? does. It elevates the whole look and you look just instantly stylish. Okay, so we've got another image to show you. Um, this one is all about hair. So can you see this, this image here? She's got a red lip on, she's got jeans on, she's got a plain polo neck, but you see she's just scraped her hair back into a bun. Now, the more simple your look, the easier it is. So what I'm kind of saying is you don't have to get dressed up to wear a bold lip. And in fact, the more effortless you look with a bold look, with a bold lip, the cooler you look. Yeah. You see, you know, she's just a sleek hair, jeans, a polo neck and red lips really just pulls the whole thing together, it doesn't it? It just elevates mm. it. Um, I'm going to show you another example here. This is, um, you know, a casual jumper. She's got a nice little necklace on. Again, hair scraped back. But quite basic, isn't quite it? Quite really? basic, yeah. So, you know, you don't have to go to town when you wear a bold lip. And I know I've kind of said to everyone, this is all about bold lips for your parties, but I want to share with you how you can not just wear bold lips at your parties, get but your money's worth out get there. your money's mm. worth and wear it with your casual stuff. So today I purposely put on an oversized sweater so you can see that just wearing a bold lip, it gives it that sense of like, coolness I mean if I took this off which I'm gonna do now let me take this off so, boring. <laughs> <laughs> let me take this off so I can show you a difference Katie yes. if you you've got a, that lovely green um, blazer on yes and you know especially with reds when you think of like clashing colors like reds and greens they're they're almost opposite each other yeah. on the color wheel but that's the beauty the juxtaposition really looks cool and so let me take this off. Probably look all stained around the mouth now, so apologies. So I'll take this off. It makes such a difference. Mm, it really does. So now I've not got my bold lips on. Okay. I've got my jumper on. You still look lovely, really. Oh, thanks, mate. Well, I've got all my makeup on. Um, okay completely different vibe you know it looks nice and casual but just by putting that bright bold on it really did elevate and i think make me look more yeah. more more stylish so the other thing um we i asked for some questions um before we did this live on you know what people wanted to help with and someone um left a message saying 
oh, can I wear a bold lipstick in my in my forties? Uh, yes. Every age. <laughs> yeah. Every single age. So um, this lady here, I mean, maybe she's about, I don't know, uh, slightly older than me and Katie. Look how cool yeah. she looks. Again, it's effortless, isn't it? It's effortless. Look, amazing. She looks absolutely incredible. And especially with the glasses as well. Yeah, so I mean, the glasses, sorry, as I say, we're trying to do this. Doggy with, daycare. Doggy daycare. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to show you with glasses. If you're someone that likes to wear quite a bold frame of glasses, a bold lip really helps balance out the frame. You know, it really helps it really balance. Works in your favour, doesn't it? Yeah, like yeah, it really does balance out. And but having saying that, you know, Katie's frames are quite light. Looks beautiful. But yeah, I like because I've got another pair of glasses that are a yeah. heavier frame, and sometimes it just feels really nice. It feels quite cool to have yeah. the dark and the red yeah. lip. Yeah. So, which brings me on to um, the rest of our makeup. So today, I've purposely not put a lot of makeup on. I'm just going to cover my lipstick where I've taken my makeup off. I'm going to take mine off because I've got my you're lipstick gonna... still on. Oh, are you? <clears throat> Sorry, Bob, but you've got to get down. So, hang on, let's just neaten up what I've just taken off of it. This is makeup live. Yeah. <laughs> Taking makeup <laughs> off and put it on again. I mean, I prefer this than makeup dead. <laughs> true, that's true. More watchful. <laughs> so, right, makeup I've got on. I've got foundation on. I've done my brows. I've got mascara on and and that and that's it katie yeah you've pretty much got the same as me yeah, i've got um foundation on and mascara and brows so we've kept our makeup quite simple because i want in a in a moment we're going to be showing you loads of different colors and i'm going to be showing you how you can change up the colors um i wanted to show you another image because when you wear when you wear a bold lip, which is probably one of the reasons I wear a bold lip to work every day is because by wearing a bold lip, you don't actually have to do that much more to- It's actually easier, isn't it? You don't have to do that much more to your makeup. Um, the fact that the bold lip should take most of the attention means you don't have to worry about eyeshadow. You don't have to worry about, you know, and even if you don't like to wear foundation, actually sometimes, the less is more on your face just makes that red lipstick look, or that bold lipstick look even cooler. Yeah, it's all you need, isn't it? It's all you need. So, for example, I'm going to show you a picture of, I mean, this is a gorgeous picture of Courtney Cox here. But you can see, I mean, the makeup, she hasn't got a lot of heavy foundation on. She's got a tiny bit of eyeliner on, but even if she didn't have the eyeliner, the lips, do all the talking and look her hair it's beautiful but it's not overly styled mm. you know the whole point here is that the rest of your look should look fairly effortless mm. and if we um i would say accept one thing okay accept one thing and the one thing i feel does need a tiny bit of effort is the brow if you're someone that doesn't have um, too much of a structured brow, perhaps because, um, you know, maybe you've over yeah. them before or they just need a bit more structure. And the reason I say that is because having structure helps balance when you put a bold lip on. So for example, here, this lady, you see she's got a bold lip on, but she's really kind of structured her brow. Now, if we took those, if we wiped away that brow makeup, you know, she would lose that kind of balance and it's the balance to the face. It's almost like, you know. It's like a bag and shoes. It's like it? a bag and shoes. Mm. It's like, the, you know, it, it's together. just making sure you've got a bit of structure here to balance out the boldness here. Having said that, if you wear a bold frame of glasses, you wouldn't even need to do wouldn't even need to do your brows. Now that I have done some really great tutorials on brows, which if anyone wants a tutorial on how to structure your brows in a really natural way, please, please let me know in the comments and we'll send you a link to my tutorial on that. I'm not gonna do that today because um, I wanna just keep it all about, all about the lips. 
So, with that in mind, Katie, mm -hmm. shall we start with the first way to experiment wearing a bold lip and like, growing your Yeah, like the toe is of water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, this first tip is for people wishing to dip their toe in the water with their lovely bold lipsticks in the back of their makeup bag, but want to just grow their confidence. And as these tips progress in this live tutorial, we're eventually going to go full on bold. But even then, I'm going to show you a really cool tip of how you can change up the colours of your bold lips. Mm. And I was going to say, it really is just tips and advice. It's not These aren't like definite rules that you have to live by, are they? It's, no. It's just little tips yeah. if you want them, but yeah. you can just go for it. When it comes to makeup, I, I'm a strong believer is that makeup is here to make you feel happy, yeah. joyful, have fun, don't take it too seriously, and don't worry about the rules. Mm. It's just about how it makes you Absolutely. feel. Absolutely. That's why I love it so much, is because it... Yeah, well I think that's why people like the happy. tips, because it does give them the confidence to do it, but yeah. it isn't like rule so it's just yeah. try them out and see what yeah. works for you. Exactly. So, shall I move this camera a little bit closer? I'd love you to. <laughs> Do you want me to do the work? Or? No. No. Please. Mum. Please. Please. Right. <laughs> Professional. Professional. I'm just dragging the clap camera closer. Right. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do now, I have put together a little running order, <laughs> just so we don't forget. Anything. Yes. Um. So we're just going to check my little running order of this live tutorial because, as ever, I want to give you the most help yes. possible. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is that we're gonna we're gonna go straight in with a classic, a classic red. And this red, what is very special about this red is that if you've ever been unsure about will a red lipstick suit me, this red we both had on at the start of the, the video. And if you were thinking of they got two different shades on, no, we're actually wearing same lipstick. Same lipstick, but the magic of this lipstick is that as soon as you put it on, it starts to react with your own skin's natural pH and it does the colour unique to you. So it always promises to suit you. Yes, it's never going to look the same on everybody, is no, it? No, it's kind of like going to create your very own signature red look. So this, if you want to see more about anything we're using in this video, I've put the links above but also if you need extra help um, we've got our incredible um, beauty experts at Beauty in the Boutique that are available to answer and help with your every beauty question or concern so please do ask away because they will be delighted to help you. So I'm hoping you have a bold lipstick at home already so I want you to grab the bold lipstick I want you to grab the colour that you're most scared about oh, yeah. wearing yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Now, we are not going to start, this is to grow your confidence. What we're actually going to do, actually I'm going to pull this back just a little bit, is we're going to, firstly, we're going to apply this using our ring finger here. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to pat the colour on, because when we pat the colour on, it gives us more of a natural looking stain to our lips, as opposed to it looking all perfect. And I'm thinking, if you're someone that's not too confident with your bold lipsticks, or you just want to get more different looks out of your bold lipsticks, this is a great way to just change up the look. Get more okay, wear out, get more wear. So, Katie, we're going to take our ring finger, mm -hmm. we're going to make sure they're clean, we're going to dab in, and then we're very delicately just going to pat onto our lip, but we're gonna start by patting into the middle of our lips, smudging together, and then with the leftover on our finger, we're just gonna pat and blend out. And what this is gonna do is gonna give our lips a bold stain, which in turn is gonna look a little bit more effortless. You know, sometimes you don't wanna look like you've tried too yeah. hard, do you? But just by having a little bit of color still brings it together, doesn't yeah. it? So let's do that now. So grab your bold lips. <laughs> oh, not by your no. lips. Grab your bold lipsticks and let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna go close so you can see. Okay. Right. 
excuse me because I'm looking in the mirror at the same time. And talking whilst putting So you want to go like this for your lips. Pat. Excuse me if I'm not looking at you while I do this because I'm trying to see what I'm doing at the same time. Okay, so pat that colour. Can you see? It's that red lipstick that I was wearing earlier in the video. But look how, just by applying it with your finger, I'm making it a lot more natural. And do you remember earlier I said about building up your confidence with a bold lip? This is a great way to start. It's just a really pretty, like, oh, I've just been out for a nice walk. Yeah. I've got a flushed look to my skin. Yeah. So this is this red lipstick applied in a very natural way. Now, hands up or give me a thumbs up if you think you could get enough confidence to at least do that with your bold lips that you're currently not wearing. Could you do that? You just build it up every sort of like over the course of the yeah. week. You just go a little yeah. bit more, a little bit more. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. You don't have to go right into mm. it. You can just subtly start it. Oh, thank you everyone for giving me thumbs up with that, that you could do that. That actually makes me feel really, really, um, Love really be yeah. the end of the week. Oh, I would. <laughs> right. If if this helps you and you do wear a bold lipstick, can you send me in a picture? Oh, I would yeah. love that. And if you would go to that trouble, um, in return, I know that we'll probably send something really lovely and cute through the post to you. If you would then privately share your yeah, address, I'm not going to stalk you. <laughs> You can share it with it. Won't turn up at your house. <laughs> won't turn up at your house. But um, I would love just as a way of showing my gratitude because And we love seeing the pictures that I people send. I love seeing your pictures. Mm. It honestly it makes it yeah. all worthwhile for me to know that like we're helping people. Yeah. It just makes me feel really, really happy. So look, very, very natural. Okay. I like that. That looks lovely on you, Katie. I really like this yeah, it looks really nice. Okay, who is ready for the next tip? Me. Me. <laughs> okay, let's take this off, Katie. Ready? Yeah. Let's take it off. Right. And then we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you another way you can wear a bold lip in a very natural way. And we're actually gonna use a different colour. The colour we're gonna use is gonna be more of a earthy type of colour. It's funny though, when you say bold lip, everyone always wants to think red. Yeah, and I want to show people that, you yeah, know, it does bold lips don't have to be red, they can be any colour that isn't, you know, like beautiful. Yeah. Okay, Katie, I'm going to take oh, this, it's like a burgundy that um, is So, this is, this is, um, completely smudge proof this one That's the way like I'm going to share it of how to use it is in such a way that we're going to make this because this this could go on actually I'll show you this this could go on really quite intense but I'm going to share with you a way you could and you can do this you don't have to have this lipstick you could do this what I'm about to share with you you could do with any Should lipstick. Should I do the same shade as you? Yeah do yeah. the same shade yeah I'm just going to quickly apply this so you can see that it's quite bold Okay, so you see, quite bold. How fast did you do that? Um, you know, <laughs> professional. <laughs> it's when you've got to get ready quick in the mornings. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this off. So now I'm going to show you a different way you can wear this. And I think this, Katie, are you ready for your socks to be blown off? That, I'm not even wearing any because I knew <laughs> they'd get blown. You just knew, didn't you? You were like, I'm not going to wear this socks today. No point. No point. Katie's going to blow my socks off. I don't want to lose them. Okay, taking that off. Right. Oh, I like that shade. Nice, isn't it? Hmm, that looks good. Ooh. That looks really good. Okay, are you ready? Sorry, Katie, I'm going to ask you to take it off. Oh, but see how long it took me to actually put it on, though? Can everyone see how lovely it looks? <laughs> looks lovely. Looks lovely. Now I've got to remove it. Okay. <laughs> right, now... This is the fun part. Okay. Does everyone own a lip balm at home? Most people have a lip balm, don't they? Take your lip balm, warm it up on your ring finger, 
a little bit on the back of your hand. Okay, take your lip balm because we're going to make that bold lip colour that I just wore. We're going to make it look sheer. Remember, you don't need to use what I'm using. You can use any, any bold lip that you currently already own. Get a lip balm. If you don't have lip balm, you might even have like Vaseline, anything that's really emollient. You're gonna get that dark, bold lip color. Again, any lip color. You're gonna dab it where you put your lip balm. You're gonna mix it together on the back of your hand. And now you've just made a tinted balm. Look at this. It's a really good way to wear a lip darker lipstick. So when you have all these dark lipsticks at home that you're never wearing, this is all you need to do. Now can you see it's a really really natural lip look. My lips are really pale so it's actually... Yeah, see? It's sort of like the beastie look isn't it? Yeah, it and gives you that... Lovely. Can you see it? I, I might add a little bit more colour. I was going to say, mine look, I haven't added that much. You've got much more um, naturally darker I lips do than have me. Dark lips. Um, whereas my lips are very pasty. I'm going to put a bit more on. <laughs> See through. <laughs> okay. Look. Natural. See? Oh, that's really nice. Yes. Yeah. I like that. That's that. You could do that with all of your. If you've got a lip balm. Please try this tip today. It's so it it's so much fun and it helps you get more use out of yeah. the makeup that you already have. Any own. shade that you've Any got, shade, work, yeah, it? any shade. Katie, come in a bit closer so we can see you. That's it. Lovely. Okay, right. Katie, let me just check my little running order. Just check my two. Please. Um, right, Katie, if you would like to just chat while I just... Oh, I'll do a little song, I think. <laughs> oh. no, nobody wants to hear me singing, that's for sure. Okay. Right, okay. Where are we going now? We're going to take this off. Okay, if you're at home, I now want you to take off what we've just done. And I'm going to share another really cool tip with you. Okay, and this time we're going bold. What full on? Actual we're going to go full on bold. Yes. But I want to share with you how you can go full on bold if you're still like, oh, I don't know if this suits me. I'm going to show you ways that you can get it to suit you in your comfort zone. In your comfort zone, and that's the most important thing. Exactly. You've got to be enjoy wearing it. Yeah, haven't you? you've got to feel good wearing it. Okay. So. What we're going to do now, we are going to take, we're going to take this, it's a very deep, deep red. It's a I red one, yeah. Colour. We take this, and the reason I'm putting this one on is it's probably out of all the colours I've got here, it's probably like the most bold. We're going to apply it. I'm going to show you with you a little tip actually. If you own this kind of lipstick, where it's actually on a doe foot, I mean, it doesn't matter, you can put on any, you can put on a regular normal lipstick for this. Hang on, bonbon, bon. I just need you to, sorry. I'm just going to show you. Come on, little one. When you apply your bold lipstick, a really good way is to, firstly, you can take a little bit of concealer, a little bit of foundation, you know, put it on your lips as well, just so that it creates a really nice, even look. If anyone's interested at the end of this, I'm going to share with you how you can actually put your lipstick on so it lasts all day as well. But um, this one, in this this colour is smudge proof, so it will, but I want to share with you that tip as well. Okay, so when you're applying your bold lip, and we're going to go really bold, start off in the middle of your bottom lip. I'm sorry that I'm not looking at you directly. I'm looking at myself as I apply this. Start off here. Okay, scrape off if it's in this type of applicator. So you wanna go less and build up. You can start off here. Now it's really important when you're applying your bold lip that you get the color in this part of your lip as well because when you put 
colour here. Oh yeah, like, like the inside. It, it will make your lips look fuller. If you if you truly try, I mean, I know it looks a bit weird on camera. I'm really sorry, but look. Uh, you want to see the inside uh, of my mouth? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> like that looks weird. Doesn't look attractive, but it will make your lips look fuller. And then you don't end up with that line. No, you, know, like if you've got you go right in line. there. Okay, before you've neatened it up, smudge it to the top. Okay. So you're just getting right on the middle bit. So I got on my teeth. Okay, now if you've got an applicator like this, your first thing is to go, oh, I'm gonna now kind of perfect it. What you wanna do if you've got this kind of applicator, obviously you can do these tips with a, with a lipstick, but this tip I'm just about to show you is just if you've got an applicator like this. Rather than put it on your lips like that, you wanna, when you get to the edges, you wanna turn the applicator round like that so it's not flat, you turn it around the other way and that actually gives you much more precision. It's like a point, isn't it? Like a actual It gives liner. you much more precision when you're doing the, the edges. So you go, kind of like a liner. Then you line. Sorry, I am actually gonna need my mirror to do this rather than looking at the phone. Excuse me. Stay tuned. Um, there, once I've applied this, I've got a really cool tip to share with you. So just stay tuned a sec. Hang on. Don't leave me. <laughs> Needy. Mm. Quite difficult to talk and apply lipstick at the same time. Okay, so it does give you a nice sharp edge though, doesn't it? Yeah, hang on. Oh yeah, I've got a dog sitting where I'm don't sorry bonbon. Can you move? I've got to sit down, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Katie. Okay, so has everyone got their bold lip on? Now, this is a point where you apply your bold lip and you're like, oh my goodness. It doesn't look neat. This is where you get your Q-tip. If it doesn't have a point on it, don't worry. You can make a point by twiddling it in your fingers. Then you're gonna get a little bit of makeup remover or a bit of face cream. You're gonna dip the tip of the Q-tip in, make it nice and pointed, and then you're just gonna take it and clean off any areas that you need to feel like looks a bit more smoother. Like that. Your best friend, aren't they? Cute, like oh my goodness, yeah. Any makeup, really, but especially looks. As long as they're ones that you can recycle and they're not plastic. Yeah, like the bamboo ones. Okay, so forgive me, it's not perfectly applied, but for the sake of this video, this is good enough. Okay, so say you've got this bold lip on. You're like, oh, I'm not sure if I got the confidence to wear it. I don't know. You're like, oh, if only if it wasn't, I mean, I love this colour. I think it's a yeah, really nice. vintage red that just yeah, it's a looks... real classic, isn't it? It's classic and it's beautiful. But if you were like, oh, I'm not sure if it really, if it's too much, what you're going to do, so you might be thinking this about your bold lip at home. What you're going to do is you're going to take your foundation or your concealer. You're going to dab a little bit on the back of your hand, like that. Then with your pinky finger you're going to take a little bit and you're going to dab this in the center of the lower lip and then you go pat to blend it out so you're almost creating a kind of natural contour to your lip now not only is this going to soften the look of the color but it's also going to make your lips look more fuller okay let me show you here, pat, and what it does, excuse me I haven't applied this that good but I'm trying to teach you as I do my makeup. It's like a little contour isn't it? Yeah it gives a little contour, it softens the colour, you see? Punch it together, and you can keep applying more. And what it does, it just softens that boldness. 
So do you remember this is the next step up for your confidence. Once you've played with your bold lips, kind of as a more of a lip stain, this is about wearing the bold lip and actually just getting your confidence to wear that bold lip. So just ever so slightly, just a bit more softer. It's almost making it slightly pink in the middle, isn't it? Yeah. You can do this with any bold lip colour. You can see it because I've just got a bit of foundation. It doesn't matter, foundation, concealer, whatever. Okay, now you might be thinking, oh, that's just softened it enough to make me feel like I've got the confidence to wear that. If you were thinking, oh, I'm really not sure, I don't know if it suits me, what we're now going to do is we're going to take this off and we're going to share with you a tip how you can guarantee that the colour that only suits you makes you feel in your comfort zone. Ooh, up for yeah, that. up for that. Right, let's take this off. Now, if you're watching this at home, can you go and grab your favourite lipstick shade? Whether that's light, dark, it doesn't matter. Go and grab your favourite ever lipstick shade. It's the lipstick shade that you love to wear that makes you feel confident, that you're like, yeah, I know this suits me, it yeah. looks really nice. It's go-to. It's your go-to lipstick. Please go and grab that whilst I just remove, we just remove this colour. Because I'm going to show you how you can use that colour give you the confidence to wear your new bold lip colour. Okay, so everyone go and grab your favourite lipstick shade. It doesn't have to be like bold, does it? Does no, it doesn't have to be bold, it can be a nude lip, it can be pink, it can be bright pink, it can be nude, it can be brown, anything, just grab your favourite lipstick colour. Okay, right. My, I'm going to get my favourite lipstick colour as well, which is a bright pink. I'm going to put it onto the back of my hand. Okay, so you're going to go get your favourite lip colour. You're going to go and put the colour on the back of your hand. So this, for me, is my favourite lip colour um, that I like to wear. This is my everyday um, colour. I'm going to put a little bit of the concealer back onto my lips, just so that you can see what I'm doing better. Katie, do you have your favourite lip colour here with you or do you want to use a little bit of mine? Oh, well, I was going to use my favourite. May I? Oh, please. Mine's quite bright though. Yeah, right? no, it doesn't matter as long as it's your favourite shade. Okay, so now I'm going to take the colour that I actually really like, but it's, you know, it's not my um, everyday confidence colour, but this colour is. You're going to put a little bit of your favourite lip colour on the back of your hand. Now you're going to take that bold lip that you're not feeling that confident about. You're going to put that, doesn't matter if it doesn't look like this, it can be a regular lipstick, just put it on the back of your hand. Then with your ring finger, make sure it's clean, you're going to mix the two together, okay? And what this is going to do is going to create create your signature shade. But because it's mixed in with your favourite lip colour, it's going to add a hint of your favourite lip colour with the bold, which is going to help you feel confident and it's going to feel much more familiar to you. <laughs> yeah, not only does it help you change up the colour of, of your favourite lipstick in a really subtle way, but it's just a lovely way to get more wears out of the lip colours that you don't feel so confident about. So now I'm going to apply this and I'm going to apply this. I'm going to use a lip, lip brush for this, but you could just apply it with your fingers I as I showed you earlier. Really. Yeah, you use your fingers. Now. That's such a clever idea. Yeah. So if your favourite lip colour is more nudey, obviously mixing it with your bold is going to just make your bold look much more nudey. If your favourite colour like me is pink, it's going to make your bold lip look much more pink. Now remember, the original colour that I used was that, but because I've mixed it with my favourite pink, it's completely changed up that colour. 
I actually really like this colour. I did a oh, really... Oh, that looks really good. So that's a really, really bright pink. It's like a brown. Look at it on you. I really like that. Hey, can I have a thumbs up if people at home think that they could get their favourite lip colour and mix it with any one of the lipsticks that you're not wearing and you don't feel confident enough to wear? Yeah. Could yes. this give you the confidence to try out your new... I want you to try out the colours that are in your lipstick bag that you haven't worn for ages and you're like, oh, I don't think it suits so me. It's so frustrating when you buy a lipstick and then you're don't, like, oh. Don't waste your money. Yeah. You just you just need to know the tips of how you can get, of how you can enjoy your makeup. Yeah. I you want can, you to enjoy the makeup that you own. You've probably got everything you need in your drawer. Yes. It's just get it out and yes. actually start wearing it. Yes. Now, that's, I just, I personally for me that's just a foolproof way to get your bold lipsticks or any colour lipstick that you're like not sure if it suits me mix it with your favourite colour guaranteed winner that's, such, that's really yeah. nice yeah exciting and it's like you've got loads of new lip colours like just it's like your lipsticks just gave birth <laughs> I mean it's for the lipstick baby let's celebrate let's celebrate our new lipstick babies out there and the best of all it's like kind of like your own signature look yeah I love that. Isn't it nice? Yeah, I wouldn't like it. What was your colour that you chose next to your favourite? Uh, that a really like bright, oh, right, the bright colour. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. I'm just going to check my notes that because I made so many notes last night of things that I wanted to teach you. Oh, so, good. so let me. Oh, I need to teach you this tip next. What's exciting! What's exciting. <laughs> exciting. Okay, Katie, take the lipstick off once Remove. more. Remove. The lipstick, okay. Lot of exfoliation here. Yes, okay. Take this off. Okay. Now, I'm next going to show you there's um, some colours that I put together um, with um, one of the brands that we stop that I love, Lord and Berry. And I went through all their lipstick colours that they have ever made which are hundreds and I put together like a trio of lip crayons that I call like statement nudes they're like the colours that you see on other people you think oh that looks lovely on yeah. there but I've made it in such a way that you can put them on and just feel really confident in them because they're kind of like quite a, they're quite a natural look but they're a bold look so I'm quickly going to show you that but within that there's some, there's some tips so again it doesn't matter that you don't have what I'm showing with you you can still do this these tips at home okay so there is one thing that I love to do with lipstick and that is when you are wearing a bold lip I'm going to say apply your base makeup first. Remember I said structure your brows, put your makeup on first. And then you're gonna put your lipstick on before you put any bronzer on, any blush on, if you wear a blush or bronzer. And I'm gonna show you some little tips of how you can wear bronzer and blush to really kind of just add a bit more um, oomph to, to our complexion, especially when it's a bit, like today, it's quite drizzly out yeah, there. Yeah, it's great today. Yeah, um, okay, so this trio here, I put together just for my beauty in the boutique community. They're good for all sort of complexions, yeah. aren't they? They're, great. They're really like what I call like natural nude, like, like bold, bold, I can't speak. Statement nude. Statement nude, that's it. And what I love about them is they they come in a crayon, so they hug your lip line. They really just um, enhance the shape of your lips. But best of all, you can actually wear them on your cheeks as well. Yeah, it ties them together, doesn't it? Plus that those ones, they do come with a sharpener, don't they? So they they do come good. with a sharpener. But regardless, you don't have to own these to enjoy the tips I'm about to share with you. Okay, so what you're going to do now is I want you to apply a bold lip. Doesn't make, grab another colour out of your makeup bag, you're going to apply that colour to your lips now. I'm going to apply this colour, Katie. What are you going to do? I'm going to do, this is, I can't read the name from here, but do this one. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. okay, that's right. Okay, so let's put that on now. Okay. One one's helping me. I know, it's a little lovely. Okay. 
Can you see, when I'm applying like a lip, uh, a lip crayon, I use my pinky finger as a stabiliser. Sometimes I don't even move my hand, I just move my face side to side. It's, it's a, just a little tip you could try at home. I just go... Okay, has everyone got their bold lip on? Yeah, I have. Yeah? Okay, what I want you to do, I want you to get your pinky finger, I want you to tap on your lips, so you've got a little bit on your hand there. Then, I want you to apply this just here, so it's just on the outer corner of your iris just on the just where your cheekbones about to start okay you're going to dab it really lightly okay if you need to feel more confident you can dab off on the back of your hand first before you go to dab onto your cheek so just on the corner of your iris tap and then with a clean finger blend little circular motions it's such an easy little way isn't it yeah probably put a little bit too much on but hopefully you I can... didn't. Oh good girl <laughs> I did. But don't worry because we'll just keep blending that and every time I put too much on I just get another clean finger and blend. But can you see? Right look at the difference. No colour on this cheek but a touch of colour here and because I've taken the colour from my lips it's always guaranteed to work with with the whole look. So I'm going to do the other side. It's any shade, isn't it? Yeah. Whatever, whatever yeah, tap on. It's an easy win to yeah. make it actually look like. It's one of those things that even if you have anything else on, no. you put a bold lip on that and then quickly do that and leave the house. Could yes, you? absolutely. You know? That's a cheat to make up the whole look. That is a complete, quick, and easy makeup look. And you've got yours on. Yes. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Look. Look how lovely that looks. It's just really subtle, isn't it? Really nice. Really nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna check my little tip sheet that I wrote last night. Oh, thank you. Oh my yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Right, okay. My final tip. My final tip is. And this is something that, do you get your nails done? Do, or do you paint your own nails? You don't have to go to get them done at Fatsy Manicure Bar, but do you get your nails done? Okay, yes. If you do, thumbs up if you get your nails done or you like to paint your nails. If you do, what I would love, love, love you to do is try getting a nice, not necessarily a long, nailed manicure. Look how cool this is. Red nails, red lip, rest of the makeup quite plain. How cool does that look? I love that and look her nails aren't overly long so they look quite effortless but matching the red nails with the red lip I just think looks so so cool. Looks really 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 lovely and a really simple thing to do as well is it really 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 simple now the last tip is how to keep your lipstick on for longer so if you don't have a lipstick that's smudge proof I'm gonna share with you a way you can put your lipstick on so it stays are we ready I'm ready okay. all ready Born ready. Okay, right. What we're gonna do is, Katie, I'm gonna have to quickly go and get some bathroom tissue. Oh, oh you might have to hold it. Oh, oh. I can hold it. I can hold it. So, can everyone go and get some bathroom tissue? It's okay. Go we'll we'll get, get bathroom tissue. I'll be really, really quick. Please don't go anywhere. Katie, stay. Stay. <laughs> Look, you can stay with me and the little doggies. Who, can I just say, have been amazingly well behaved. Because before we started this, they went crazy. Running around with their little orders, laughing, didn't you? You're very good. 
Yeah. So, but she's back, don't worry. Luckily, oh, luckily, I live in a really small apartment, so there's not many places to is go. Is that glamorous beauty roll? This is, this is beauty roll, <laughs> otherwise known as blue roll. Okay, so Katie, I'm gonna share my beauty oh, roll with you. you. Lovely. <laughs> okay, so if you've already got your bold lips on, keep them on. What we're gonna do, you're going to get a bit of your toilet roll and you're going to split the ply. So this is where you're going to split the ply. I mean, this is where I won't be able to do this. So again, live. Again, live. Let's not split the ply because I can't get that to do <laughs> I can't do it. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll make it quick. So, okay, what are you going to do? Take your toilet roll and you're going to blot, okay? We're gonna blot. So you would have applied your lipstick, you're gonna blot. Oh, Katie's done it! Yay. The reason we split the ply is because it gives um, much more of a subtle blot, but if, like me, you can't split the ply, don't worry, it will still work. Okay, so you're gonna blot. Yay! <laughs> okay, so does everyone block their lips? You don't have to block, you can always block like this. But the reason, the reason if anyone's thinking why did I block like that and not like that is when you block your lips like this, you don't really block the top bit. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, but when you block like this... I thought it was just because it was funnier. No! When you blot like that, it just blots the whole lip. Okay, so we've blot our lips. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to get, has anyone got in their makeup bag some loose powder or some blush? Loose powder or some blush? Doesn't matter as long as it's a powder. Okay, I'm gonna use loose powder, but if you didn't have loose powder, you could use a powdered blush. However, the color of the blush will change the color of the, of, of the lipstick. Okay, you're going to get a brush. You're gonna dip it into the loose powder and you're gonna put the powder over your blotted lip color. Mm, please. Okay. So, all blotted. Now, even by doing that, you've actually muted down that bold colour. But, I mean, if you wanted to, but... Can you just do that with your fingers if you didn't have yeah, brushes? Yeah, if you didn't have brushes, you could just go like that. It's probably quicker, to be fair. Okay, then, you are going to go back to the colour that you first applied, and you're going to apply this over the top. Then, we're going to do that whole process again. Okay, blot, powder, and again, go to the top. Now, what this will do is it will just help keep your lipstick on pretty much all day. The one thing I do, because I have quite big teeth, is I will take my pinky finger and I will take my finger and I will just, excuse me, this looks a bit weird, but I'll just go oh, to, get the excess to get the excess off. And that's a really good tip. I always do that before I start filming. How many times do you say to me, Kay, you got to go, I actually just shout, teeth, teeth. <laughs> Um, so that's a really good tip. Um, last little tip, if you've got a bronzer at home, please get your bronzer because bronzer is an amazing thing to use when you wear bright or bold lips. And the reason being, if you've got um, quite fair skin, um, sometimes 
the difference of the kind of fairness and that boldness. I don't think it looks too stark, but you might feel like, oh, it's too stark. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a bronzer. And you know, this one, it doesn't look overly dark, but it will just warm up the tone of your complexion so that there isn't such a stark contrast. So I'm gonna quickly just show you some really lovely quick bronzer tips. Because I wear bronzer every single day, um, winter, summer, spring, yeah, whenever. Got me onto bronzer. It's amazing, and I think especially you know as we get older, um, we, uh, you know, sometimes our our skin needs an extra bit of like oomph to it especially just if you're to make tired it healthy, doesn't it? yeah it just gives it a little bit of oomph and especially you know if you're someone that's starting to go um like silver in their hair then adding a bit of warmth to the to the skin is, is really, really helpful because i always thought bronze was for like summer and if you've got a tan or you want to look more tanned but it's not at all, is well it? it is if you want to look tanned and you get a dark quite a dark bronzer yeah. Um, but if you go for a natural bronzer like this, I've got the links above, or if you need links to this one, um, the, the, the girls will tell you. But this one, I mean, I, there's two shades of bronzer, biscotti and toffee. Yeah, I'm using the toffee one. And today I'm using the toffee one because I just want it to be quite subtle. Yeah. So you're going to take your brush, tap off on the back of your hand. And I pretty much always tap off the back of my hand because I'd rather it go wrong on the back of my hand and just lightly, uh, you know, dust dust my face. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start by applying the bronzer. I'm going to come closer. Can you see what I'm doing, Katie? Yeah. If I go close. I'm going to start here. Just going to move it in. Can you see already how it's actually just sculpted my cheekbone in a Which really natural way? Well. Yeah. Bit on your jaw, take it down. I'll do this side of my face first. And it, it's not such a colour that's going to change the colour of my skin, it's just going to warm up the colour of my skin. Average my nose, tip of my chin, hairline, tops of the ears. If you're wearing your hair up, you do the back of your neck. And I might just add a bit more colour here. But it adds just a touch of warmth in a really natural way. So I've not, I've got the blush on this side, but I've got the blush and the bronzer on this side. And can you see it's very subtle, but I think this side of my face just looks a bit more, it's got a bit more like ting, yeah. ching. It's just a bit more alive, isn't it? Yeah, it just awake. looks a bit more healthy. And you could keep going, keep layering up, because the more you put on, the more it balances out a bold lip. Plus, if you then get a eyeshadow brush, dab it in. I've probably put a bit too much on now. Let me pull it out a bit. If you ever find you put too much um, bronzer on, one thing you can do is get your loose powder, dab in, just go for the top with your loose powder and it just makes it a bit more subtle. I didn't do too much. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Makeup, eyeshadow brush, cap off. Okay, you're gonna feel, this is great if you um, have a slight hood to your eye, I've got my eyes started hood there. So you're gonna take, you're gonna go into the socket and slightly over the hood. You're gonna dab it across, you're gonna start in the middle and then just dab backwards and forwards. This is a really cool little eyeshadow technique you can do when you're wearing a bold lip. It still keeps your makeup looking really natural, but just gives a bit of a oomph to the eye. Can you see? It's just like a little added contour. It's an it? added little contour, and I love this bronzer shade because it just looks so natural. I'm gonna add a bit more there just to keep going. Yeah, this is like a whole look. That you you see? Before you've even left, like just to leave the house. Yeah. Exactly. I've spent hours but already. if you were going out for a party and you were doing your bold lip and you're like, I don't know what to do with my eyes, I would say swoosh of mascara, you're good to go. Yeah. But if you want to play up your eyes, this is just a really quick and easy way to do it. So again, you see the difference? Very subtle. 
I think it's just enough. I'll quickly do the other side. Because it is like you've got a whole eyeshadow look on. Yeah, it is. And I want to quickly show you as well of how, if you were going out for a party wearing your lovely bold lip, I mean, a lot of this video we've been talking about wearing bold lips in a casual way, which is my favorite way because it means you're gonna get much more wear out of your bold lips. Because let's face it, how often are we going to parties? I'm always at a party. <laughs> Life is a party. <laughs> Yeah, um, like but in you know in reality, so if you're going to spend your money getting bold lips, bright lips, you know we've got to find a way that we can wear them yeah. casually. And as I've shown you, wearing a bold lip casually looks really, really cool. People, people look at you and think, "Oh, she's got good style." It is. It's just your bold style. lip. I it mean, is literally just your bold lip. You have like that thing where I think bold lip. I think, "Oh, well, that's I'm going out for you." Wearing like a black tie do. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be that way at all. No. And in fact, this colour here, sorry, I haven't applied it very well at all because I've been talking as I've been applying it, so apologies. I'm going to make this a bit pinker, so I'm going to get one of my favourite blushes. Is that just a powder blush? Mmm. Pat it over the top. I'm going to soften the lip look. It's going to add a bit of pink. It's, it's, getting, it. it's getting it to the shade that you like. Yeah, it? it's getting it to the shade of where you feel in your comfort zone. And that is the trick of you feeling like you're in your comfort zone. Now, Katie, would you like me to show you? I did share this little trick last time on the live, but mm. I think people really love this trick. Yeah. And if you weren't on the live last week where I went through like eye makeup tips for um, parties, you can watch that, it's still on Facebook, on our Beauty and Beauty Facebook page. You can scroll down, find it there. But one beautiful little eyeliner tip for wearing a bold lip. Yes. Do you I know, know what you're gonna say. Yeah. I'm gonna teach you how you can do a really cute little cat eye that just elongates the eye out looks very Parisian, you know, and you think you've got your lovely Breton top on, Katie. Oh, nice. Striped top, bold lips, cute little cat eyes. And it's still subtle enough, isn't it? Subtle, mm. gonna teach you subtle. So, if you've, got if you've got an eyeliner in your makeup bag, it's time to bring it out. Bring out your eyeliner. Okay, I'm using this, this is, I wear this eyeliner every single day. Mm. It's an amazing shade. It's a very, very dark chocolatey brown. I love black, but dark chocolate brown just looks a little bit more subtle, but still gives me that definition. Okay, are we ready, I'm ready. to learn this cute little eye flip? I'm gonna move this a bit closer. Okay. Right, what we're gonna do, take the liner, Make sure it's nice and soft and back a clean hand. You're going to put a little bit just on the outer corner of your eye. Little dot there. Don't worry about being neat. Just get a little dot on the corner like that. Then you're going to take your pinky finger and before that liner sets, you're just going to put it into the dot and you're subtly just going to wing it out. How about that? Thumbs up if you think that is the easiest winged eyeliner such a... you've ever seen in your life. I mean, it's not perfect, I know, but it's not It looks good. lovely. Look. Oh, I, you know, and I think a lot of women feel worried, like, oh, am I too old for a winged and you eyeliner? Do a full thick. No, this is how you do it, this my friend. This is the future. <laughs> this is the future. You know, Katie and I are just a few years away from turning fifty. I, I'm sorry, but when I'm 80, I'm still going to be doing that little tip. Such an Mate, easy little that tip. is the tip. Please, 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 can you try this at home? It is please. a game changer. It I is a this. game changer. I mean, look, look how cute that is. Also, look. Your eyelashes look really cutty it does. Like on the end, don't they? You can... Amazing. I mean... That is one of my favourite. If you really want to go more, make sure you've got a smudge proof liner like this. Take it a little bit on the upper waterline, really thicken up your lashes. You know, that with a bold lip, 
It's be having you, mate. <laughs> People just think you've spent hours as well. Yeah, they would up. think you've spent hours. But listen, I've been sharing these these tips. I'm not even looking in a mirror. I'm just looking at the camera teaching you lovely people. It is achievable. Play with your makeup. Yeah. Don't let it sit in your makeup bag. Get all your makeup out and start having fun. Yeah. It's there. It's created yeah. for us. Yeah. Let's all living well enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, don't just leave it in your drawer. Do not leave it in the drawer. Spent on it. Get it out. And if you're stuck of how to wear a piece of makeup, please email into me, DM me, whatever, get in touch. And you know, there's a whole team of beauty experts at Beauty and Boutique that I've personally trained. Plus they have access to everything in here every there's single a lot day. There. And there's a, there's a lot in there that needs to come out to help you. So please, write in, we're here to help, we're here to grow your confidence. Yeah. So I think, I've got a bit of a sweat on now. Well, well yes. we mate. worked very hard. <laughs> so, I hope you've enjoyed this live tutorial. I have. I've really enjoyed <laughs> it. I'll be um, goodness knows what we're gonna do for our next live. Is there any suggestions, what you would like for our next live? I'd love to know. Um, I would please let me know what you'd yeah, like to you help with. Like, what do you need help with? We will do our very best to help you master it. Um, the only thing that I'm left to say is thank you, thank you, yeah, thank, thank you, you from the bottom of our hearts that you should come and watch this video, regardless if you're watching this live or on a replay. The fact that you're watching this video to the end. Great. It really Gratitude. means a lot. It really does mean a lot and um, you know. We love having you here. We love having you here. Beauty in the Boutique has been built for you. We have a lot of, lot of love. So thank you so much. Thanks and, um, guys. Happy Thanksgiving for yes. all our friends in America and hope you're all having a lovely day and lots and lots of love. Bye we'll everyone. See you soon. Guys. See you soon. Bye.